Hello everybody. I wanted to show you how to cite the source for our week one discussion. I noticed a lot of people weren't citing the source in APA format, but rather just including um, the website address, which is not correct. So I want to make sure we're all on the same page and doing this correctly. So I want to show you a couple options. Um, the first one is if you have Microsoft Word, you can go to Microsoft Word, click on References, make sure it says under Style APA 6th Edition. Um, there's several options here, so just make sure you have that on there. And then you would go to Insert Citation and Add New Source. And actually, so we have a web article, so I'm going to scroll down, Document from Website, and then you just fill in the information that's listed here. So we need the author, so I'm going to make, actually I cancel this so I can make my screen smaller so I can actually see this information. Let me just go ahead and do these side by side to make it a little bit easier to navigate while I'm recording this. Okay, so references, insert citation. Um, so it's still on document from website. So we do have an author. We have a Pulaski. So it tells you here how to do it. The last name comes first. A period. Um, name of web page is this name here, the, AP, the title of the actual article. Name of website is today.com. And then the year it was published was 2013, month, February, 13th. And then we just need to put the website address. And then when you click OK, it's going to do the in-text citation. So this is what it would look like if you were citing it in the body. And then I'm just going to click down and I'm going to go to Bibliography. And just click on Bibliography and it will actually post it in APA format. So then I could just copy and paste this into my discussion post. So the other way you can do this is by going on the web. I'm just going to show you a tool. I'm going to open a new window. I'm going to go side by side with that as well. So I'm going to go to citationmachine.net and I'm going to click on APA and then I'm going to go to web page and again, put in the author's last name. And if you need help, if you're not sure what to put in there, you can click on the help there and it will tell you. And then you just click Make Citation, and, it, and I can copy this and paste it into my document as well. So either one of those would suffice. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page as far as what I'm looking for in terms of the citation for your discussion board. So I encourage you to try um, either one of these tools out. Um, one thing I do want to point out, you should never solely rely on these. Um, there are some minor discrepancies that could occur that an instructor may deduct points for because it's not completely in APA format, so you should always refer to the APA manual, but this is a good tool to help you as well. So if you have any questions,